Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some more Glory Days College Football. The game. Ohio State versus Michigan. It will be 1968 Ohio State, not 69. That is a faux pas on my end. It should be 1968 Ohio State taking on 1997 Michigan. We will fix that afterwards. Glory Days College Football can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com. PDF is available for a very, very low price. Very fun game. And it's brought to you by the creator of Glory Days Boxing, Anthony Crooks. Anthony's YouTube channel is Bleach Your Bums Gaming. Link provided in the chat and on the page, along with sidelinestrategies.com. We will be playing play-by-play -play mode. I will be. I will not be using any event charts results or any rare event chart results. Just strict play-by-play. -play. I have set it up on Excel. We will use the Excel helper to track stats. Basically, you're tracking offensive stats. And that's about it. The game is very fun. It's a very enjoyable game. Uh, I do recommend it. Joining us here in Michigan, Dwayne March. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. And Arnold Hunter. Dwayne says hello. Arnold Hunter. Hi, Al. This should be a great game. So let me just quickly explain this layout. I'm using Ball Roller. The black and white are nine-sided die. 0 through 9. The blue die is 1 through 20. The red and white, D6s. The secondary dies, if we have a big play result or a stuff, we will roll here. This is for the penalty, possible penalty, the first yellow die. And this is the result, if there is a penalty, the second yellow die. Both of those are D1 one to 1 through 20s. The white die is obviously a 9 side, a 10 sided die, 0 through 9. We have a football that we can move. See, we can move it all over the place. And we have yard markers. I will. I do, um, there is an issue with this formula here. And you'll see uh, what I like to do when I play. And I, I hand I played Army, 45 Army versus 84 BYU. Put the results up on Glory Days Games Facebook page and Digital the Dice and Sports Simulations Facebook page. What I like to do is, even if it's an incomplete, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to put an I or something to signify it's incomplete or a zero. What, now watch what happens. Just say if we threw a pass to Sean, it's incomplete. Maybe I can put an I there. No, I don't want that. Let's escape. Let's not do that. Let's just do zero. No catch. See, it says complete. One for one. So I don't know. I might, I might have to just go back and alter the completions. The attempts will be correct, but I can alter the completions. I like to do that because I like to, that's the way I track my incompletions. But I do it on paper. All right, enough said. Let's get to the game. Michigan won the toss. They elect to receive. Their offenses, as you can see, for total plays, there's no clock in this game. Ten offensive plays per game for Ohio State. Ten offensive plays for Michigan. So that's very easy. Add them together, divide by two, guess what it is? Ten. Michigan State won the toss. They want the ball. So in the first quarter, three possessions for Michigan. I keep saying Michigan State. Three possessions for Michigan, two for Ohio State. In the second quarter, it reverses, three-two for Ohio State. Third quarter, Ohio State gets the ball first, three-two Ohio State. Fourth quarter, Michigan, three-two. We prepare for the kickoff. Now, I don't know all the college rules, so I might get some penalties incorrect, but we're going to do the penalties my way, and that's the way we're doing it. Kickoffs 
If it goes in the end zone, it'll go to the 20. And there is, at this moment, no sudden death. A tie is possible. Who doesn't love a good tie? Come on. If there's a penalty on an extra point, what I do is I look down here. Extra point for, say, Ohio State, 0 through 94. Well, if there's a penalty, I'm going to say back it up five yards. Okay. Um, and we're going to say that they're kicking... Well, Ohio State would be playing with the goal. We're playing in Michigan, so we're going to play with the 17 yards for the field goal. And we'll just adjust. I'll decide where we're going to kick the extra point from because uh, it only, it's only going to back them up a little bit. So I, I've had penalties on extra points. and But I'm just telling you that's a little house rule. I just play it by ear. All right, both teams on the field. They're waiting for kickoff. Ohio State will do the honors of kicking to Michigan. Again, Michigan won the toss. They elected to receive. Ohio State is a C kickoff. And again, I'm not showing those charts, but I have it in my hand. So Ohio State's a C kickoff. Michigan, as the dogs are fighting, Michigan is a C kick return. So here we go. There's the kickoff. It is a two for Ohio State. And that's going to be a touchback. So a good kickoff for Ohio State. Michigan will start first and 10 at their 20. First and 10 at their 20. Michigan likes to run the ball early. 63% of their plays are running plays throughout the game. We've already adjusted for the line control, as you can see over here. First and 10, Michigan has it. Michigan will keep the ball on the ground. The carry is going to go to Thomas, will be the ball carrier. Ohio State doing a pretty good job here. That is a 52 and it's going to be on Ohio State's defense plus card and a seven. So Thomas is stuffed. Thomas is stuffed. Excellent job by the Ohio State. We will roll to see the stuff. It is a one. So we go down to the stuff. One minus a yard. Second and 11 coming up, Thomas. That is a loss of a yard. So minus one yard for Thomas. Second and 11 for Michigan. And on second down, Michigan will keep it on the ground. Lloyd Carr playing it conservatively. The ball carrier for Michigan will be Thomas once again. 46 on the line control roll. Once again, Ohio State's front seven doing a pretty good job. That goes to defense plus one. Thomas on an eight. And he is stuffed again. Ohio State swarms all over Thomas. Let's see what the stuff is going to be. That's a six. Gets back, he struggles, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 11 coming up. For Michigan, third and 11. Michigan, might we might see the first pass here for Greasy. Third and 11. Possible penalty. And they're going over the top on third and 11. You can see the yellow, that means it's a uh, Ohio State is playing the pass, and they're playing the long pass. Let's see if there's going to be a penalty. There will be a penalty. You see the five there. Michigan's penalized one through six, so it's a five, and it's a false start. A false start. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a ten. So it's going to be a holding call. So no matter what happens, it's going to get called back. 
We won't even go through it. Let's just see for haha. It's a long pass. Actually, no, we have to go through it because it might be an interception or something. So that's a two. Greasy looking for a deep route to Williams on a 33. But that's got to adjust. That's got to adjust one down. So Ohio, how you do that is Ohio State's pass defense is stout. It is a 9. Michigan's pass offense is a 6. So it's minus 3, but now with the yellow, it's minus 4 on a 33. Minus 4 on a 33. It's going to be a stalemate. So it's a stalemate. Greasy throwing deep on a two. Again, he is looking for Williams. That'd be out of the backfield, I believe. Stalemate on a two. 12 yards possible interception. That's why we had to go through it. So Greasy could be throwing a pick here. Ohio State intercepts 1 through 18. Oh my God, this is an interception. This is an interception. Greasy, Michigan is a plus 8 on... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you know, that's right. That's a plus 8. You would go off... Oh, no, no. Interception 1 through 7. Then uh, Ohio State's defense is a 2. So 1 through 9, it is a pick. Watch, this is a 20-sided roll. Watch the blue die here. Not a pick. Complete for 12 yards, but the holding call, the holding call will nullify it. The holding call on Michigan nullifies the 12-yard gain, which would have been a first down, mind you. So instead, it will be back up the bus, Gus. Third and 21. There is no 21, so we'll just do that. And I'm going to mark 21 here, so I remember. So third and 21. Actually, let's move that over here. Third and 21. Loss of 10 on the holding. Oops. Okay, down to the 9. So third and 21 for Michigan. Holding call takes away the first down. Third and long. Michigan going to go with a draw play, and they get a benefit here because it's six, third and six plus. Zero, one, two, and three in the green, so the column goes up one. It's a draw play. The delayed handoff goes to Floyd, and it's a 21. So again, Michigan's run offense is a seven Ohio State's run defense is an eight that's a minus one but with the benefit of sneaking the draw in it goes to even Stevens at zero that's a 21 so on the draw it's going to be offense one star on a three. Four yards. Michigan will have to punt. I missed a carry somewhere. And I didn't mark the penalty, but that's okay. First down minus one. We had an incomplete. to Shaw 
or somebody. There was an incomplete pass. I don't remember who, but we're going to say Shaw. We're just going to put the zero there so I can remember it's incomplete. And again, we'll adjust that later. And now the ball carrier was Thomas. And he went for four yards. He went for four yards on the three. So Thomas picks up four. Michigan will have to punt. Their first possession is done. They have two more left. So he picks up four. One, two, three, four to the 13. Oh, come on. Don't do this. Come on. We need, we need you to move. Does this every once in a while. Not the field. I want this to move. Thirteen. There we go. Fourth down. Michigan will punt. Michigan's punt rating. So a good job by Ohio State. A very stout defense for Woody Hayes' 1968 team. Michigan's punt is not good at all. It is an E. That sucks. Ohio State's punt return, not much better. A D. Penalty here. There's a possible penalty. 13. There would be no penalty. Because Michigan's the kick team. They'd be the offense. The return uh, doesn't fall between either Michigan's offense penalty or Ohio State's defense penalty. Michigan on the E punt rating of a 2 on a two a horrific punt only 36 yards shanka palooza so they're on the 13 i don't know why it keeps anchoring itself here okay now we go 13 23 is 10 20, 30, and it's a 36 yard punt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at the 49. Ohio State's going to have a short field here. The punt return on an E, on a D, excuse me. Punt return is a 1, so that's going to be a team result. We'll roll here. Watch. It's a six. Punt return on a six. 33 yards. Holy cow. A short punt in Ohio State on the return. They pop for 33 yards. So that's the 49. Wow, a big punt return, 49. And again, it's anchor. Oh, here we go. Come on, don't anchor. There we go. 10 to the 39. 20 to the 29. 30 to the 19. What did I say? It was a 33-yard punt return. This is huge for Ohio State. In a tight game like this, special teams can be the difference. One, two, three to the 16. So a huge punt return by the Ohio State Buckeyes. Woody Hayes' offense, first and 10. At the Michigan, 14. Woody Hayes, three yards in a cloud of dust. It's going to be a run. Shocking. No penalty on the play. That ball will be handed off to 
Brugnard. Line battles a 42. Stalemate. So a good job of Michigan up front to at least get that stalemate. Brognard, 8. Does he have any... My, he's a minus 1 adjustment, so it'll be minus 1 yard. On the 8, he is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Brognard stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So Michigan trying to hold here. 2nd and 10 for Woody Hayes' Buckeyes. 2nd and 10. Woody Hayes and the Buckeyes keep it on the ground. Michigan gets a 65. That's a very good defensive roll. The ball carrier will be Otis. That's, I believe, Jim Otis, who went on to play for the Cardinals. So it is Otis with the carry. Michigan winning the day at the line of scrimmage with a 65. That's going to be D, two stars on a three. And Otis is stuffed. Michigan nails Otis. He is going nowhere. Minus three yards. What a job by Michigan's defense. That's going to bring up third and 13. Third and 13. You got to add 17 yards to the field goal here. We're playing with Michigan's rules. So the, the goal posts are back. Third and 13. After that short punt and big punt return of 33 yards, Ohio State having some trouble moving the ball. Third and 13. Michigan probably playing the run. Ohio State going to put the ball up in the air, and they're going to throw it long. This is not their forte. In fact, they're going to be penalized because Michigan's looking for the pass. Pass offense for Ohio State is a 5. Pass defense for Michigan is an 8. So that's a minus 3 goes to a minus 4. No penalty. It's going to be a 52 on the minus four line control. Defense, one star on the long pass. Pass intended for as Kearns heaving it up downfield. Three. Kern is looking for Jankowski. D1. Make sure I read that right. It is a yes, it's a D1 on an eight. Possible sack or incomplete. This is gonna be huge if it's a sack. Ohio State sacked one through four, but Michigan has a plus four, so it's a six rating on the D twenty. So watch the blue die here. They don't get the sack. It is incomplete. Fourth down and 13. So Kern scrambles, throws it downfield. Incomplete. Fourth and 13. Ball at the 19. The Buckeyes will send out the field goal team. Excellent job at the Michigan defense there after a huge punt return on a short punt. This will be a 36-yard field goal attempt. A 36-yard field goal attempt for Ohio State. The Ohio State Buckeyes. 1968, not 69. I made a mistake in the title. We will switch that. So, what did I say that was? A 36-yard punt. 42%. 42%. Here we go. Ohio State trying to go up 3-0. They need a black, white, 42 or less. It is up, and good! They get the double zero. No penalty on the play. The penalties, the doubles are red and white. A 36-yard field goal for Ohio State, and they are on the board, 3-0. They capitalize on the short punt and the excellent punt return. So first quarter, I don't like that. that that's not what I wanted. 
back end up. Let's say first quarter. And see, I forget to mark the stats. That's what drives me nuts. I forget to mark the stats. I'm going to have to first quarter 36 Ohio State. Let's do Ohio State. OSU 36 yard field goal 3 nothing OSU Now we had an incomplete I don't remember for who Janikowski, Janik, we had an incomplete. We lost three yards with Otis. Right, that was Otis, I think, lost the three yards. All right. There we go. So Ohio State scores on their first drive. They have one left in the first quarter. Joining us here in Michigan, we have Cleve Baseball Fan 879. Check out that wonderful channel. David Selinski, Dwayne Martz, Eric C., Golden Eagle 99, thank you. And Arnold Hunter. We await the Ohio State kickoff. Short field really benefited Ohio State there. All right. Ohio State's kickoff rating is a C. Michigan's kick return rating is a C. So they're both C's. Here's the kickoff. No doubles. The kickoff, six under the C column, goes to the goal line. The return for Michigan under the C column is a two. It's going to be a 20-yard return. So Michigan will start first and 10 at their 20. Michigan's second drive of the first quarter. Michigan will keep it on the ground. They're down 3 nothing. The ball carrier for Michigan, as that's a 9, that determines the ball carrier, is going to be Howard, Chris Howard. He has a plus 1 on a stalemate. No penalty, but Ohio State very stout. That's a 54 roll. So run 54, defense with one plus mark, we go to the Ohio State defense on a seven. And he that is another stuff. Michigan just cannot move the ball against this Woody Hayes defense. That's a stuff. It's a zero. That's going to be minus five yards. Minus five yards for Howard. Howard's first carry. Not bueno. Ohio State. Dominating the front seven. Dominating the line. Dominating the trench warfare. So that's a minus five. Ball spotted at the 15. Second and 15 for Michigan. On second down, Michigan will keep it on the ground. Possible penalty here. 16, no penalty either way. The ball carrier for Michigan on this running play, that's an 8. So the ball carrier for Michigan will be Chris Howard. 33 will be a stalemate on a 2. Two possible yards, uh, three yards because it's he has a plus one. But the red means a hard hit by Ohio State. The ball might the ball is going to come loose. It will be a fumble, but who will recover it? Michigan fumbles one through eight. Ohio State not much with forcing fumbles or retrieving, re recovering fumbles minus two. So it's one through six. Watch the blue die roll. It is a fumble. It is a fumble. The hard hit on Chris Howard. The pigskin pops loose. Ohio State comes away from the scrum 
with the football. And again, that was a minus. No, it was a plus three. It was a plus three and the fumble. So the fumble recovered by Ohio State at the Michigan 18. Lloyd Carr is going insane on the sidelines. That ends Michigan's second possession. Ohio State will have their last possession of the first quarter now. First and 10. Ohio State once again with a short field. Can Michigan get a turnover or keep them out of the end zone, forcing a field goal? 3 0. 3 0 Ohio State. Here come Woody Hayes and his Buckeyes. On first down, Woody Hayes will keep it on the ground. Three yards and a cloud of dust. It is a run. The handoff from Kern to Jimmy Otis. 21. Ohio State wins the day. It'll be a one-star offense on a 12 for Jimmy Otis. Uh, I'm sorry, on a um, 5, excuse me. Actually, it's Kern faking the handoff and keeping the ball himself. The 12 determines, and then the 5. So Kern, one star. Kern has no adjust. It's not a stalemate anyway. On a 5, how many yards will Kern get? Kern picks up 3. So Kern picks up 3. Takes it to the 15. Second and 7 for OSU. Kern picks up 3 on his first carry. D. Scott Howard has joined his football as well. Second and seven. Ohio State sticks with the ground and pound. Michigan wins the day at the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier is Jimmy Otis for Ohio State. 53 defense plus one on a seven. Sevens, a lot of sevens there. Jimmy Otis picks up two yards. So Jimmy Otis picks up two yards. It's going to be third and five for Ohio State. Ball at the Michigan 13. Remember, Michigan fumbled on their last possession. Third and five. 50-50 run pass here for Ohio State. It will be a run. Woody Hayes keeps it on the ground. Michigan looking for the run. The handoff goes to Buckeye. No, Kern keeps it himself as he pulls the ball away from Otis. Kern will keep it himself. 63 defense for Michigan. Two plus... Two stars, we'll say. It's defense plus plus on a seven. Three yards. So Kern plows forward. It looked like they were going to stuff him. Three yards. Fourth and two decision time for Woody Hayes. Kern takes it to the 10. They can get a first down if they go for it at the eight. Kern picks up another three yards. Uh, I should have marked the fumble here. That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. It was a fumble on the minus five. Howard fumbled the ball. I'm going to mark that now. I'm just going to say turnover, Michigan. Minus five. Howard. Fumble. Recovery. Oh, it's. Shoot. OSU. What was it at the 18, I think? We'll just say the 18. At 
Michigan's. Still got to figure out how I want to do that. So fourth and two from the 10. It's a 27-yard field goal. Put him up 6 nothing. 78% chance of making this. 78% chance of making this. I think Woody Hayes would have put the points up. I think Woody Hayes would have put the points up. He sends out the field goal team. Oh, he, the field goal is good. There's a penalty here. 17. No penalty. It doesn't fall between 1 through 7 for the offense. And it does not fall 19 through 20 for the defense. So the field goal is good of 27 yards. It is 6 0 Ohio State. Twice the short field. Twice they're denied a touchdown. Twice they get a field goal. Oops. So 6 0 Ohio State. First quarter. OSU. 27 yard field goal 6 nothing OSU So two field goals Ohio State is done with their possessions Michigan has one more possession left in the first quarter. Michigan, two drives, nothing. A three and out, a short punt, a big return of 33 yards. Excellent job by the Ohio State special teams, a punt return teams, put them in point-blank range. Michigan held them to a field goal. Field goal was made. Then we had the fumble by Howard. Ohio State recovered on the 18, took it to the 10, but could go no farther. Fourth and two, Woody Hayes elects for the field goal, 6 nothing. And now the kickoff by Ohio State. Again, Ohio State's kickoff is a C. Michigan's punt return is a C. And there's a penalty, so it's a four. Let's see if... So the kick team, let's see if there's any... The kick team would be the offense. They still have the ball. Would it be the defense? I'm going to call it the defense there. I'm going to call it the defense. I think they're technically still the offense. But we're going to say the defense. We can get that clarified with Anthony. Actually, I'm going to say they're the offense. They have the ball. So 1 through 7 is a possible penalty. Penalty. There's a penalty on Ohio State. 4 on the kickoff of a C. Goes to the goal line. Seven for the kick team on the penalty. Offsides. False start offsides. Uh, kickoffs are offsides, so they kick again. Oh, well, let's see what the return is first. Let's see what the return is first. Four on the return of C. 15 yards. They're going to kick again. So they're going to kick again. And that's going to be a hell of a kick. A one on a C, that is a touchback. So he really, oh, the Ohio State kicker feeling his oats, two field goals, and now booms it into the end zone. Taking a knee are the Michigan Wolverines. He'll have it first and 10 at their 20. Last possession, last possession of the first quarter. They trail 6 nothing. They're lucky to only trail 6 nothing. Here's Michigan. What will they do? Michigan on first and 10 will keep it on the ground. The ball carrier, that's a nine. The ball carrier for Michigan on a nine will be Thomas. But Ohio State very stout on defense. 64 does not help out Michigan on the roll. 64, that's defense plus plus. 
So Thomas, it's a seven. Thomas struggles, keeps his legs churning. Looked like they were going to keep get him for a loss, but he picks up two yards. So Thomas picks up two yards on his first carry. Every yard for Michigan has been painful. Second and eight from the 22 of Michigan. They trail 6 nothing. First quarter coming to an end. On second down. Again, Michigan keeps it on the ground. The ball carrier with that 12 roll will be Thomas once again. 32, a much better result for Michigan on a 32. That's a stalemate. So Thomas, no yard adjustment. Stalemate on the run, and it's a two. Two yards, he's hit. Fumble. Unbelievable. Michigan pooping themselves. This will be a fumble recovery. Once again, their ball security. Lloyd Carr going insane on the sidelines. Michigan fumbles one through eight. The adjustment for Ohio State's defense minus two. So one through six. Watch the blue die. It is another fumble. Unbelievable. Michigan fumbles for a second time. Thomas, two yards. Another fumble gives Ohio State the short field to start the second quarter. So we have a turnover. Michigan. Two yards. Thomas fumbles. Recovered. OSU at the Michigan 24. Unbelievable. So it's Woody Hayes' Buckeye defense just putting the splat on the Wolverines. They'll, it looks like they'll be eating Wolverines for supper tonight. First and 10 as we start the second quarter. Now Ohio State has three possessions compared to Michigan's two. Michigan, they're lucky to be only down 6 nothing. First and 10 for the Buckeyes. Woody Hayes will keep it on the ground. No penalty. No penalty, but Michigan. They've been doing a good job. Their defense is keeping them in the game. The 17 will be a carry for Hayden on a 54. The 54 is a defense plus. It's a 7. Two yards for Hayden. So it's two yards in a cloud of dust for the Ohio State University. Now I'll make it second and eight as we start the second quarter. Six nothing. Ohio State. Ball at the Michigan 22. Second and eight. Play action. Kern's going to throw the ball here. What is Woody Hayes thinking? 35, no penalty. Kern on the play action. He rolls a bit. Kern looking. He's looking for White. 35 on the pass. Stalemate. White has no adjustment on the short pass. A 1. So a 1 on the short pass. Incomplete possible sack. Possible sack. So it's either going to be a sack or an incompletion. Ohio State is sacked one through four. Michigan's defense a plus four, so one through eight. It will be a sack. Watch the blue die. No, he is able to throw the ball away. He is able to throw the ball away. And again, we're just going to put a zero here. He's 0 for 2, really, not 2 for 2. So an incomplete second, uh, third, excuse me, third and eight. 
Field goal attempt from here would be a 39-yard field goal attempt. Third and eight, Michigan looking to hold Ohio State once again after giving them the short field. This Michigan defense, if they win the game, should be MVP. Right now they're keeping the Wolverines in the game. Ohio State on third and long, more apt to pass. They're looking for a 0-1-2-3, though. They don't get it. Kern rolls. He's looking downfield, medium to long. It will be a penalty. Uh, not a penalty, but well covered by Michigan, so it's going to move down a column. Once again, Ohio State's Pass offense is a 5 against a pass defense of an 8. That's minus 3. But with the yellow down a column, you can see the 8 falls there. It will be a minus 4 on the 52. So a minus 4 on the 52, my guess is that's a defense plus 1. And it is. So well played by Michigan. The pass is going for Janikowski. Jankowski. Kern throws. It is a two on the long pass. Ten. Ten yards. Here. Oh, here it is. It's either a sack or a ten yard completion. If it's a ten yard completion, it's a first down. So Kern scrambling, one through four, plus four, one through eight, it's a sack, and they get him. So Michigan with the sack, and it's going to be a nine-yard loss because you add the red and white die. So it went from a first down, possibly, to a sack, a loss of nine yards. That might take him out of field goal range. Holy cow, so that is huge, a sack. There's no place to really record that. See, when I write it myself, I just write it in the notes, but I'm not going to... So we're going to do that. We're, that's a big play. We're going to say... OSU is sacked minus nine yards. That might take him out of field goal range. That brings him back to the 31. That is huge. That is huge. That could be right at their range. That's a 48-yard field goal attempt now. Do they even have the ability to kick a 48-yard field goal? Max is 50. Max is 50. 23% chance... As Dwayne March says, that sack is rushing yards for the quarterback. Okay. All right. Well, I'll do that another time. Makes sense because they that's I don't like that, but you're right. That is that. 48 yards, 23%. I think we'll punt. Definitely don't want to give them the short field. Woody Hayes sends out the punt team. So Michigan dodges the bullet on that turnover. Ohio State will have two possessions left in the first half. Punt rating for the Ohio State Buckeyes is a C. Punt return rating for Michigan is a C. Here we go. It's going to be something if this is a 23. It's not. There's no penalty. So that's a six on the punt. A six on the punt. It's a C on a six. It's a good punt, 41 yards. And it goes into the end zone. No return. Michigan will have it first and 10 at their 20. They're lucky to be only trailing six nothing after a short punt, a huge return. By Ohio State, they kicked the field goal. Then a fumble by Howard. Ohio State kicked the field goal. 
And now another fumble by Thomas. Michigan holds, gets the big sack, and Ohio State has the punt. First and 10 for Michigan. A touchdown will put them up with the extra point. Let's see what the Wolverines will do here on first and 10 from their 20. They're going to keep the ball on the ground on first and 10. The ball carrier for the Michigan Wolverines will be Chris Howard trying to make amends for his fumble. 23 bodes well for Michigan. That's going to be a star, one star. On a zero, four yards for Howard. Four yards for Howard. That doesn't make sense. Does it not recognize minus five? Oh, that's for total. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. That's the total rushes. Okay, I got it. So four yards for Howard, second and six for Michigan at their 24. Second and six on second down, Michigan still has a propensity to run. And they will do just that. Again, no penalty, and their offensive line is winning the day at the line of scrimmage. The O-line doing it right now for Michigan. They're only down 6 nothing. The ball carrier once again for Michigan will be Howard on the 15. That is a run. Two stars on the offense with a four. Four yards for Howard. Third and two for Michigan now. As Howard is tackled at the 28, third and two, six nothing Ohio State. Second quarter, third and two. Michigan likes to run the ball here. Ohio State playing for the run. Michigan will be penalized, not penalized as a penalty, but the column will go down one. Five, it's going to be a run. Michigan's run offense is a seven against Ohio State's run defense, which is a nine. So that's a minus two. It'll be a minus three. A minus three, that's a 64. I already know on a 64, it's defense two stars as you start to remember these things. The ball carrier for Michigan, they're not going to make the first down most likely. The ball carrier for Michigan, that's a 10. It's Thomas, defense, two stars, and it is an eight. He's stuffed, I believe. Nope, he'll pick up one yard. He will pick up one yard. So on third and two... Thomas picks up one. He kept his legs churning, but not churning enough. That makes it fourth. What the hell is that? One yard. Why is it not doing one yard? Why, when I'm putting in a one, it does a 50? Why is it doing that? Delete. Okay, one yard. Space. There we go. Because Fourth and one from their 30. I don't think they chance it from their 30. I'm almost wanting to chance it, but I'm not going to. They're going to punt. So that will end... Michigan's um, drive. Ohio State will get the ball back. So they're stuffed. They do not, they can't do it. Michigan, Lloyd Carr sends out the punt team. Michigan's punt rating again is an E. That's awful. D punt return for Ohio State of 1968. That's a seven. No penalty. Seven on the punt. Again, Michigan's punt is an E. 
44 yards on the punt. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. One, two, three, four. Twenty-six. The ball will be fielded at the 26 by Ohio State. It is a two on the punt return on a D. Fair catch. So Woody Hayes doesn't take any chances. He calls for the fair catch. First and 10 for Ohio State. They lead 6 0. Second possession for Ohio State of the second quarter. I think what we're going to do is play a half, and then we'll call it a stream. We'll see, but I think that's what we're going to do. So, first and 10. Ohio State 6 0. Ball at their 26. That's going to be a run. Penalty possibility. 10, no penalty either way. The ball carrier for Ohio State is an 8. Jim Otis will get the carry. 66, that's defense, plus 2. We don't even have to look at it. So we go to the Michigan card. On the run, defense plus 2 on a 2. That is a stuff. Michigan's defense keeping them in this game. That's a stuff. So let's re-roll. A two, go down to the stuff. Zero, one, two, minus three yards for Jimmy Otis. Second and 13. Otis really struggling. Second time he's had a minus three. Second and 13. No penalty. Second down. Kern looking for the short pass. Rolls a bit. Kern looks for Jankowski. They get the low roll here. That's beautiful. That's a 14. It's one star on the short pass, and it's a six. Oh, incomplete. A bad pass by Kern. Incomplete. Second time. He hasn't completed a pass yet. Again, don't be fooled by the three for three. There's zeros. We're going to minus the zeros out to get their true. That's the way I mark my... You can't put an incomplete there, I don't think. Can we put an I? I think no matter what you put... Let's see if we can put an I there. Yes, you can. Let's do that. All right, we can do that. So those are incompletes. I like that. Except it doesn't give you the attempts. It doesn't give you the attempt. I think I'm going to go back to the zeros. I like the zeros better. And I'll just back out the zeros when it comes to completions. All right, all right. What do we have here after all of that? Second and 13. Second. Oh, no, that it's what am I saying? That's incomplete. So third and 13, pass intended for Jankowski. Third and 13 on third and long, Ohio State. More propensity to pass. They're going to draw. This is going to help Ohio State. They're going to run a draw. No penalty. It's a 26. Let's see if this play can pop here. They get a benefit of it going up a column. As you can see, the green. So again, their run offense is a 10 against a 9 defense. So plus one goes to plus two. It's a 26. I think it's just going to be a one star anyway. So a plus two on a 26 is a one star on the draw. The ball carrier be Jimmy Otis. Will he pop on one star? That's a four. I don't think he's going to pop enough. A four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Seven yards. But that will not be enough. So seven yards on the draw for Jimmy Otis, starting to heat up, but that's going to end up the Ohio State drive because they had a third and 13. It'll be fourth and six now. Woody Hayes sends out the punt team. So seven yards. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ball at the OSU 33. That finishes that drive. Ohio State sends out the punt team. They are nursing. They are nursing that 6 nothing lead. And they have not moved the ball. They've had the short field twice, and that's how they got the field goals twice. Ohio State's punt rating, C. Punt return is a C for Michigan. No penalty. As it comes off the red and white die for doubles, that's an 8 on the punt for Ohio State. 43-yard punt from the 33. So you got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, fielded at the 24 by the Wolverines at their 24. They have a punt return 8 on a C. Now it's going to be a 6-yard return out to their 30. So last possession of the half for Michigan. They trail 6-0. They trail 6-0. Michigan keeps it on the ground. Ohio State wins the day at the line of scrimmage. Ball carrier, the 52 bodes well for Ohio State of 1968. 18, the handoff goes to Woodson. Plus six, if it's, a, it's not going to be a stalemate. That's for sure. So a 52 defense, one plus on an eight. And that's a stuff. Oh, bro. That is a stuff once again. Four. How many yards will be lost? That's a four yard loss on the reverse. It's going to be second and 14. I forgot to change that. And a four yard loss. Back to the 26. Second and 14. For Michigan. On second and long, Michigan and Greasy look to pass, short to medium. No penalty. They have a good opportunity here. Greasy has time. He's looking for Tumman. Tumman. 13. Offense, two stars. On a zero. That's a big play. That is a big play. This is a huge roll coming up. It is a big... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Short pass. Big play. It's still a big play. Big play two. Big play two. Watch this white die over here. It's an eight. 37 yards. 37 yards. Finally, Michigan has something to crow about on offense. Greasy. Connects to Tooman, 38 yards. Let me just make sure I have that correct. On an eight, 37 yards. I'm sorry, 37 yards. That is huge. That is huge from 24, 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37 to the OSU 39. Finally, the home fans have something to cheer about. 37-yard completion of two men. So first and 10 for Michigan. This is the last drive for Michigan. Then Ohio State will have one before the half. First and ten. Let's see what Michigan will go over the top again, maybe. No, they'll keep it on the ground. No penalty. 45, my guess, is a stalemate on a run. 45, it is a stalemate. The ball carrier. 
for Michigan on the 14 roll will be Floyd. No adjustment for a stalemate. Five on the run. Five. Two yards for Floyd. So Floyd picks up two yards as Michigan rotates back. Ball at the 37 of OSU. Second and eight for Michigan. No penalty. It's going to be another run. 31. 31 is a stalemate. Two. The ball carrier will be Chris Howard. He's a plus one on a stalemate. And it's a four. One. A zero. One, two. Five yards, so it's four plus one, five yards for Howard. The big pass play has injected life into this Michigan Wolverine offense. So five yards third and three. Third and three for Michigan. This could be two down territory here. Third and three. Michigan on third and three to five. 50 50 run pass. Michigan play action fake trying to catch Ohio State off guard. They're going to throw the ball. But Ohio State plays it pretty well there. That's a 65, and it's going to be defense two stars. You can see it right there. Defense two stars. Greasy under duress looking to throw. He's going to throw to Tooman. Remember, he connected with Tooman for 37 yards. This is going to be tougher. They got good coverage on Tooman. 65 Seven is a short to medium pass. Defense two stars on a seven. It is either an interception or a completion as he throws it into coverage for seven yards. So, Greasy throws an interception one through seven. Ohio State with a plus two. One through nine, it's a pick. Watch that blue. It's intercepted. Greasy throws the pick. Greasy throws the pick into double coverage. Ohio State snuffs out the drive. Now we have a return possibility. So that's seven yards forward, we're going to say. Pick at the 25 for OSU. Let's see about the interception return. Watch the white die right here. That is an eight. Wow, this is going to be a big return for Ohio State. To both D6s plus 20 yards. Both D6s plus 20 yards. So we already rolled. There was an 8, 33. That's 6. 26 yards on the interception return. So from the 25, they go to the 35. That's 10. To the 45, that's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Returned into Michigan territory at the Michigan Wolverine 49. What a horrific interception by Greasy. Another, that's the third turnover for Michigan to the joy of I.D. Jester, who has joined us here. He has traveled to Michigan into enemy territory. So Michigan, Greasy's picked. Return of 26 yards. Ohio State, 26 
yard return. Wow, so this will be the last drive before the half. The turnovers, the Ohio State defense playing tremendous. After Greasy was able to hit Tooman for 37 yards, forced it into coverage to Tooman. It was picked off. Seven yards downfield, 26-yard return. First and 10 as we're coming to an end of the first half. We might continue. We might not. We might stop it at the half. First and 10, Ohio State. Woody Hayes keeps it on the ground. Michigan's defense standing stout with that 51. It'll be defense with one plus mark. The ball carrier will be Otis for the 68 Buckeyes. Otis on a plus one. It's a five. Otis picks up one yard. So Otis picks up one yard. This is what you call a defensive struggle. Second and nine for Ohio State. Oops. At the Michigan 48. Second and nine. Again, Woody Hayes, ground and pound. 34. That's going to be a stalemate. The ball carrier is going to be Jimmy Otis again. He has no adjustment for a stalemate. It is a four on a stalemate. Otis picks up three yards. So Otis picks up three yards. Ohio State desperately wants at least a field goal to make it a two-possession game. Ball spotted at the Michigan 45. Fourth and six. Fourth and six for Ohio State. Halftime looming. Four, uh, third and six, excuse me. Delayed handoff. And that's going to pop. You can see zero through three is green. That's good. And the 21 is unbelievable. And it's going to go up one. Uh, they were already a plus one on run offense so it'll be a plus two on run offense so let's see i think i think the 21 is still only a one you know it could be it could be a two-star offense it could be a two-star offense 21 it is a two-star the ball carrier 14 kern keeps it himself the quarterback as he fakes the handoff fakes the pitch goes around the end so offense, two stars on the run, and it's a three. Zero, one, two, three, five yards. Oh, they're a yard short. Kern does not make it. Woody Hayes does not lock like the spot. It is fourth and one. Kern picks up five. Taking it to the Michigan 40. They're out of field goal range. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Does Woody Hayes gamble? He says gamble. He says gamble. Woody Hayes says gamble. Will the drive stay alive on fourth and one? So for fourth and one, we go to third and short. It's a run. 24. That's going to go to even. Because you see the yellow, you see the yellow right there. They're expecting the run. Michigan is playing the run in the yellow, so it goes from plus one to even. And that's a 24. That's still going to favor Ohio State. The ball carrier, I think that 11 is going to be Kern. Kern, again, fakes the handoff, fakes the pitch, takes it upfield on a zero. Offense, one star. That is a 24. Offense, one star on a zero. Kern picks up four yards and a first down. A big conversion to the Michigan 36. So a fourth down conversion. Who says Woody Hayes isn't daring? The drive stays alive. You can hear ID gesture on the sidelines. Assistant to Woody Hayes, cheering like a madman. First and ten. Fourth and one, they pick up four. Kern did a beautiful job there. 
That's going to stay on the ground. 32 will be a stalemate. Michigan trying desperately not to allow Ohio State into the end zone or into field goal range. The ball carrier on the four will be Jimmy Otis. So a stalemate. Three. Otis has no adjustment. Two yards for Jimmy Otis. Ball to the Michigan 34. That's going to leave a second and eight. Halftime looming. So second and eight for Ohio State. Nine. Penalty. There's a penalty. Is it a penalty? 13. There will be no penalty. It's a deep pass. It is a deep pass. Unbelievable. Woody Hayes pulling out all the tricks here. That is a nine. Kern. Play action rolls, looking deep. Kern looking, looking, looking. Zelina. He's looking for Zelina downfield. 55 bodes well for the defense. It will be Michigan defense plus on a long pass, and it's a nine. And it's caught! Unbelievable! Everything going right for the Buckeyes. You can see defense. Let's make sure I call it 55. It is defense plus one. Long pass to Zelina. Kern rolls, throws. You Right there, defense plus one. 11 yards and a first down. That is the first pass completed by Ohio State. And it goes for 11 yards. So Kern is really one for three, one for four now for 11 yards. And that is a first down. First and 10. What a conversion after the fourth down conversion. They get 11 yards. So that's a 34. So that's going to go to the 24. To the 23. First and 10 at the Michigan 23. Another chance of a penalty here. 18. That's going to be on the defense. No, no, it's not. 19 through 20, so no penalty. First down and 10. It will be a run for Ohio State. The ball carrier. And again, that's going to be a D++. The 66 is a plus plus. The ball carrier will be Kern. He keeps it himself. On a seven, Michigan defense, plus, plus, seven. Kern picks up three yards. Kern feeling his oats. Oh, it's doing that again. Three, space, enter. Okay, that's not working the way I want. So Kern picks up three yards. Second and seven at the Michigan. 20. Second and seven. Six nothing Ohio State. This is unbelievable. They once again, they keep it on the ground. Michigan trying to hold off Ohio State. That is a good defensive roll of a 62. 62. That's going to be defense plus plus. So again, we're going to go off the Michigan defensive card. 19 is the ball carrier. John Brockenden, who would go on to play for the Green Bay Packers. And that's a nine on a defense. Plus, plus. Brockenden is stuffed. We re-roll the white die over here. Michigan stuff column is a two, zero, one, two. Minus three yards for big John Brockenden. And it'll be third and 10. From the 23, this could be another Ohio State field goal attempt here. So Brockington, Big John, doesn't go anywhere. Swarmed under by an angry Michigan defense. That's minus three yards. A big third and 10. Ohio State does not want to lose yards. 
from here, this would be a 40-yard field goal attempt. So third and long, 50-50 run pass for Ohio State. And unfortunately, it's going to be a pass. Kern thinks he can do it. It will be a stalemate on the 34. Kern, once again on the move, rolls, looking, looking. He's looking for Otis out of the backfield. It's a stalemate, so it's going to be a minus five to whatever result on the eight. The eight is a long, uh, the eight is a long pass, so it's actually not going to be a stalemate, my friends. Thirty-four. We got to check. That's going to go minus one, one of the columns, and I believe they're already a minus two because their pass is a five. Oh no, it's a minus three, so it's a minus four. So that's not going to be a stalemate. Minus four on a 34. Minus four. On a th it's still a stalemate. It is still a stalemate. Zero on the long pass to Otis out of the backfield. On an incomplete. It is incomplete. Well covered. Pass. No chance of being caught. Kern throws it away. It is fourth down and 10. Ball at the 23. Add 17 to that. We're playing with the 97 rules when it comes to field goals. Um, so it's a 40-yard field goal attempt. This will end the first half. We might as well go for it. The field goal, that is. 40-yard attempt. 23%. Oh, he just misses. No penalty. They needed a 23 or lower. They roll a 26, and that's the half. It is halftime, 6-0. Unbelievable. We almost got that 23. We got a 26 instead. So, oh, SU... Missed 40 yard field goal. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. I'm having too much fun. We go to the start of the second half, third quarter. OSU will receive the kickoff. 6 0 OSU. Do we want to continue on? An hour and 23 minutes so far. Ten people still watching. Let's let's continue. Let's continue, folks. Let's continue. I think... Uh, I don't know. An hour 23. You know what? We're going to call it... You tell me in the chat. Do you want me to continue? Do you want me to continue? After a half of football, 6 nothing OSU... Kearns completed one, really one for four for 11 yards. Uh, Greasy's only completed. Oh, these are twos. These should not have been down here. Those are runs. I got to bring those up here. Those are runs for Thomas. So, those are not. God, I don't like that. Two space. And then two space. And get rid of these. That's a delete. that's a delete all right so it's six nothing ohio state we've asked the chat do you want me to go on it's 703 we're gonna call it a stream we're gonna call it a stream we'll give you we'll finish the game up tomorrow six nothing ohio state they will receive Ohio State will receive the kickoff to start the second half and the third quarter. Let's hit save here. Hopefully this saves everything. It should. So thank you very much. Cleve Baseball Fan 879, thank you. ID Gesture, thank you. Check out those wonderful channels. John Wise, thank you. Eric C., thank you very much. Cutter Historical, check out his wonderful channel. Dwayne Martz. 
Thank you very much, D. Scott Howard. Check out Dwayne's wonderful channel. David Selinski, Golden Eagle 99. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Arnold Hunter. So we're going to do the second half tomorrow at some point or a later date. We'll do something else a little later. Um, but 6 nothing Ohio State. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We're playing play-by-play -play mode. Really an enjoyable game. Glory Days College Football brought to you by Anthony Crooks from Bleacher, uh, from Anthony Crooks, the developer of Glory Days Boxing. And both games can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com. Link provided in the chat for sidelinestrategies.com and on the page. And also a link for Anthony's wonderful YouTube channel, Bleacher Bums Gaming. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. I greatly appreciate your time. If you like, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. See you soon. Bye-bye. Love you all. Happy Saturday and beyond. Peace!